Hello, hello everyone. Hi, what's up? It's me, Angie. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here today and hanging out with me. I know you have lots and lots of videos you're watching right now, so I appreciate the fact that you said to stop by click on my video out of all the ones you could watch instead. Thank you so much for being here. I am feeling this Christmas spirit. I am so, so excited. Christmas is creeping up on us fast. And Sabrina Carpenter released a Christmas themed EP album with five original songs and then a nonsense Christmas, which I'm pretty sure you've already heard before. I think she released that like, as a single before this album and it's kind of just a play on her song Nonsense that came out with her last album. I love Sabrina Carpenter. I think she's such a pop princess. She, she just oozes confidence. She has become one of my favorite artists with her album emails I can't send. That album is so, so good. I actually made a full video to that if you want to check that out. Leave it up here in the eye for you guys to check out. Christmas album, Christmas is coming up. I just, it makes me so happy. I just, I love Christmas. I'm so happy this time of year. So without further ado, I think we should just jump right into it. Let's listen to the EP Fruitcake by Sabrina Carpenter. All right, song one, A Nonsense Christmas, which I have already heard. So this song won't be my first reaction, but we'll still listen to it today. It's it's such a fun, cute song. Let's listen to it. cute little like innuendos and puns just it's just so fun and free and silly and nonsensical i love it i love it God, so fun and silly. I love it. All right, next up, song two, Buy Me Presents. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love all of the like Christmassy like feels and the like jingles and the noise, the twinkly like noise. It just brings me so much joy. <laughs> This is what I needed from this album, from this song. Like, just classic, silly, like, little Christmas themes. Like, you know, if you're not gonna come to me, then I know someone who will, and that's Santa Claus, bitch. Santa Claus will come to me. almost like a Christmas Hallmark movie in a song and I love it I love it that's a good thing it's just like cute oh my god <laughs> Miss P got locked outside of the room by accident we have not met this is Panini oh I think she's ready to yep okay bye <laughs> all right if you hear meowing that is Miss Panini meowing yeah <laughs> By now, it's obvious that the song is poking fun at a romantic interest. If he won't buy her presents, prioritize her over any other girl or visit her, Santa will. She's asking this guy to put effort into her for the holidays. If you don't treat me right, I know someone who will every year. <laughs> song three, Santa doesn't know you like I do. Santa doesn't know you like I do. 
like a song that's about like unrequited love she's a crush on someone and maybe they're just not feeling her back of course she's wrapping up in this like Christmassy theme in the production we hear it gives those like Christmas vibes I feel like if there was any other song that wasn't Christmassy themed maybe she would have said like that other girl can't love you like I do or something or that other girl doesn't know you like I do but of course to make it on theme with Christmas she's making it Santa doesn't know you like I do, which is a fun little twist. This is a very relatable song, even if it isn't with the whole Christmas theme. You pining over someone that just doesn't know you exist or that doesn't like you the same way you like them. You know, she says, I know all your favorite songs. I pick up each time you call, but why can't I be the one? I think that's a very like universal feeling, whether it's wrapped up in a Christmas theme or not. I think we've heard that in many songs throughout all of music history. Questioning and pining and unrequited love theme. Her voice is stunning. Her vocals, S tier. All right, song four, Cindy Liu Hu, which of course I'm pretty sure is a play off of Cindy Liu Hu, who is in The Grinch. I saw you laughing in one of his pictures. There's red and green everywhere, but I'm so blue. Her vocals are so airy and beautiful with the soft piano in the background. Stunning. Well, he was so searching, he found someone better. Guess you make him happy like I couldn't do. Scrolling five years back on says breaking all my heart is the season I guess. Oh. Wow, this is like a really sad like breakup song. She's still hurt over someone, but they've clearly moved on. And it's Christmas time, and sometimes the Christmas time is filled with someone's joy and happiness. It can also feel very lonely, especially if you thought you were gonna be spending Christmas with a certain somebody that you know you loved and care about, and now you're not, and now you're alone. That also really sucks. Break my heart, just this season, I guess. Like she almost sounded like she's like, well. Of course, like almost kind of like used to it at that point. Like, of course, it's happened. This always happens for her. Maybe she feels like that. <laughs> Her vocals are always giving. Yeah, I think this last verse really like encapsulate what the song's about. Again, unrequited love, a breakup. She was with someone and then now they're with someone else. The someone else is Cindy Lou Who, you know? The boy who I love is now with you, Cindy Lou Who. Even in what maybe some might think is a silly Christmas song, she's able to convey such emotion wrapped in that maybe like silly lighthearted Christmas theme. Like her voice, the emotion, is so strong with the production and everything too and you know again just another really relatable theme of it being christmas time and you not being with someone you really thought you'd be with during this time and then seeing them with someone else is also like 10 times worse or waking up in his old bed at his family's house like maybe she thought that was gonna be her and it's not she's imagining cindy lou who doing the things that she thought she was going to be doing with him wow that was really really good wow Hi, 
So I am interrupting this video because I accidentally skipped one of the songs when I was originally recording this video. I don't even know how I do that. I tend to do that a lot. I accidentally skipped Is It New Year's Yet after I listened to Cindy Lou Who and I went on to White Christmas right after that. And thus, here we are. Here I am coming back to film this little clip and I'm going to listen to Is It New Year's Yet with you guys. So yes, let's get into it. Let's listen to Is It New Year's Yet and then we'll get back to the rest of the video. Is it New Year's yet? By Sabrina Carpenter from her Fruitcake EP. Let's take a listen. Oh, it's like 80s almost disco. pessimistic about this like she says in the song she's over christmas she's over it you know she we, we heard the sadness that came with the christmas holidays and now she's moved on to like anger <laughs> she's like i want to just get this over with i want to get to new year's i want to be feeling good i want to be moving on with someone new and just leave this year behind and just get on to the next one right now i'm feeling sad i'm feeling angry because everyone else around me is so happy and in love and I'm over here lonely and annoyed, which is totally understandable. It's totally understandable if we're that way during the holidays. I love how she mentions the songs are catchy but overplayed because maybe that's why she made this album. Maybe she's like, listen, we need some new Christmas music. All other ones are old and overplayed. I'm gonna bring in something fresh, something new for the holidays with my music. Maybe that's why we got this album, which I am totally okay with. Whichever one we got here, I'm just happy we got here. It's the 25th, I wish it was the first. The couples all around me, damn it. Mm. Push them in the fruitcake just makes me sick. Oh, oh shit. We get fruitcake. I was wondering why it was called fruitcake. When she came me later on the video you'll hear me say that in past me filming because i didn't hear the song at that point fruitcake just makes me sick the holiday dessert fruitcake is highly known for its controversy people either love it or hate it here is freedom mentions that it makes her sick which is ironic considering it's all of her christmas ep mm, so fun There we go, okay, fun. Going from Cindy Lou Who, such a sad song to this, which is feels so, it feels very Sabrina. A song that's just kind of bitter. I love a good bitter song. Of course, Sabrina's vocals are always giving. Yeah, it's cute. I think it's also very relatable, uh, wanting to just skip over this part and just get to the new year. The holidays are not for everyone and some people love it, like me, and some people are just don't really care that much and uh, rather just move on to the new year. And in this song, that's what Sabrina is feeling. That's it for me here in this little clip. Let's go on to the rest of the album and my final thoughts. All right, last song here is song six, White Xmas or Christmas. I'm dreaming oh, white oh, is this cover? Christmas, just like the ones I used to know. Oh my god vocals this is a little cover what is it like her her version of of the song love that oh my god her voice is everything that it's just her voice like all of the production all the other noise in the background goes out it's just that echoey soft beautiful voice oh oh 
Oh my god, okay, cute! How many times have I said cute in this freaking video? I don't even know what else to say though. Like, it's just a cute little fun little album. Okay, that was an unexpected fucking banger, I gotta say. Oh my god, my cheeks are from smiling. 10 out of 10 album for you, Miss Sabrina Carpenter. I love that she did this. It's so random, but so cute. I wonder why she called it fruitcake. All right, well, I guess that's all I have to say. Love a Christmas album and love Taylor Swift's Christmas album and her Christmas songs. Love how Sabrina Carpenter decided to do this as well. Justin Bieber has some great Christmas songs. I think Mariah Carey is shaking your boots a little bit. I think so. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm not going. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for having me today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for having me today. Miss P is sleeping, but she says goodbye. And I will see you guys, I hope, in the next video. Be sure to subscribe before you go. Go ahead, do it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.